Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is another attack meta video. As you guys know, in this type of video, I show you guys the best strategies at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. On the screen right now are the timestamps in case you want to fast forward to whatever your Town Hall level is. We'll start with Town Hall 11, then go to 10, then to 9, but we have multiple replays as examples for each Town Hall level. We'll talk about what strategies you guys need to know starting here with 11 v 11 and for the first time in a long time i have three different replays to show you guys the three top strategies for going 11 v 11 because it is possible like never before um so here we go with the first one it is going to be basically a mass law loon oftentimes the queen's going to be relatively exposed these bases are still usually set up to defend against two stars the town hall 11 bases in most wars. Um, by the way, all these replays coming from our uh, CWL matchup against Kansha, a good victory for us, um, a good war, a fun war, both sides um, put up a solid performance, um, although we, we got the victory. Um, but anyway, this, uh, this attack is pretty simple. All you're doing is coming in for the queen, and hopefully, if it's a good base for it, she'll be near an air defense. And then basically you just drop these spells, these loons. You just smash the base with your loons. Rages in the middle, hastes around the outside. Uh, the rages are great if there's Teslas in the core, plus the eagle, plus infernos and expos. All those high HP buildings, you pop the warden's ability as your loons converge on the middle. And then a back end heal spell is typically a good idea. But that's pretty much it. Just use your king and your queen. Suicide them in there to take out the defensive queen, uh, hopefully. Typically, you're going to want to get the queen taken out, and that's the type of base you want to look for, is one that has the queen exposed. Um, get the queen, get air defense, get CC troops. That's pretty much all you need. Anything else is a bonus. Then come in with the hastes initially for the loons. Rage is in the core, and um, use that warden's ability in the core as well. Then a back-end heal spell is nice, and that's pretty much it. Just come heavy with that Lalo. Um, let's move on to the next one here. This is possibly the most popular strategy right now for Town Hall 11. I'd say it's more po popular than the uh, last one we just saw. It's called the Queen Walk Vomit Attack. And I think it gets the name because basically you do a Queen Walk and then you just vomit a bunch of bowlers into the base. Um, just a ton of bowlers. That's, that's all the attack really is besides a few witches on the flank. So essentially what it, what it is, it's one of those witch bowlers you see at Town Hall 10, but instead of the queen going on around the outside, she goes towards the middle and meets up with the entry point. Uh, the witches and a few bowlers walk down the bottom of the base. Sometimes you can put healers on them, sometimes not. Um, but the idea is the queen um, with the warden and the king and then all those bowlers and a bunch of rages are just gonna kind of run through the base here. Uh, you can see he actually has all rage spells. Oftentimes you're going to want to bring a jump to get into the base, at least partially. Um, although most of the bases are kind of very open at Town Hall 11. So one jump typically, and sometimes a heal spell, but you do have those healers. So you can just bring a bunch of rages typically. When in doubt, just bring those rages. You have the witches, like I said, walking along the flank from the opposite side from where the queen was dropped. And what often happens is those bowlers, the goal is to get the core cleared out, and then often the queen and the warden and those healers tend to stay together just the way the AI works for these troops. And uh, that can take out pretty much any portion of the base as long as the main core has been cleared out. Um, he used the queen's ability early, but it didn't even matter. As long as you get those single infernos, the queen, warden, healer, um, combo at the end can take out even a significant portion of the base and oftentimes those witches will wrap around and uh, help you finish off the base there. Okay, so last Town Hall 11, and this is the last way, uh, last main attack, it is the Witch Bowler just straight up different than the Queen Walk Vomit in that it's, it looks just like the Town Hall 10 version and for this one, you want to look for a base that has the walls set up almost like a Town Hall 10, not like a, a ring base like you typically see, but one that actually has walls that funnel your troops into the middle. This is a great base to do it on because those walls eventually push everything into the core towards the Infernos, towards the Eagle, and uh, 
Oftentimes in this one, you put the healers on those witches to go around the outside of the base. And in the core, you basically have a golem or some giants, your heroes, a bunch of bowlers, and you just keep them raged up. But also those heal spells are important because um, in this case, a few healers did peel off, but oftentimes you don't have healers on your main troops. So you want to have at least one heal spell uh, as they hit giant bombs and bomb towers and whatnot. But just push through the base. It can wreck a base if it has the right wall placement. So for this one, you're looking for wall placement. For the first one, you're looking for the queen near an air defense on the outside of the base, as well as good Laloon pathing and a core that has a bunch of like Teslas, a pretty much a core that's stacked with all the important buildings like Infernos, Eagle, Expos, and Teslas, all that good stuff, um, with air defenses that are in good positions to tank for your Lava Hounds. Then the second one, the Queen Walk Vomit, is good for bases that don't fit the first or the third um, types of attacks. It's kind of a good one to use on bases that you typically wouldn't be able to three-star. You use the Queen Walk Vomit on because uh, it is probably the most powerful, although the first and that last one we just watched are also good. So that's the picture at Town Hall 11. That's the main things that are working. We're going right into 10v11 here. And for 10v11 attacks, it's not as much that there's these popular attack strategies and army compositions. It's more that it's the idea behind the attack that is the meta, so to speak. And it's pretty much consistent. You want to create a funnel on two sides of, a, of the base and then have some main force push towards the town hall to get it taken out. Your funnels should also hopefully secure some percentage, and then you might do a few extra operations to gain even more percentage that's unrelated to the push to the town hall. But there's a few different ways in which you can create the funnel. You can do hasted loons, you can do a hound in balloons, you can do golem bowlers, you can do queen walks. We'll take a look at um, several attacks, and you guys will see the specifics of what I'm talking about. We'll fast forward a little bit here. Um, through the CC kill. But this is one of them that's very popular. It's using the golem bowlers plus a rage on each side to funnel, not even entering in on either side, just getting the funnel created. Then golem, more bowlers going up the gut of the base to get it taken out. You also may have noticed balloons at the beginning there to uh, to take out some uh, the archer tower and allow minions to grab percentage. That is, of course, unrelated to the push to the town hall, but it's just to get that percentage. So it's a balance between percentage and the town hall so you can secure that two star. This one works out nicely here. I'm a little bit lucky to get the town hall because his troops did walk, but a few bowlers stayed in the core and took it out under the heal spell. It kind of helped it was a multi-inferno, which we don't see that often. We'll see some that have single infernos for sure. Um, this is a rare base with the multi-inferno. But a nice attack, um, you can choose... You choose both the funnel troops and the push troops. In this case, the funnel and the push troops were the same. It was a golem bowler for both, but often it's not the same. And let's take a look at this one here. The Lalo funnel, I'm a huge fan of. Um, this one's a little more of a newer strategy. First, starting off with some balloons. These are percentage balloons mainly. Take out that archer tower. He can throw some minions behind later for percentage. But this is a funnel he's creating right here by um, coming in with a, a Lava Hound plus balloons, taking out um, quite a few defenses on that side. That will create the funnel and also allow him to get percentage with the minions. So he's gonna lure out the CC, kill it. Um, you guys can watch my video on how to kill a CC uh, from like a month ago or so if you're interested. Um, I'll fast forward through it in this video mostly because I already have a video on how to do it. So we'll ignore that for now. So minions go down, uh, archers grabbing percentage, but also the funnel was created. So that's two, um, two, two important tasks, and he does it with the Lalo. Same thing on the bottom, no Lava Hound, but has the balloons. Also going to create a funnel, and some funnels are easier than others. The This funnel, only one layer, just looking at the walls. He just has to take out pretty much one layer of defenses there, which he does. Hastes in the loons, gets the Expo, uh, gets the Tesla, almost gets this cannon, would have been nice to get that cannon because it would have helped with the funnel, but it will not, it'll just have a little bit of HP left up. But the important thing is he got the expo and the buildings outside of it, which will cut that funnel along with those baby dragons. So here he has about 25% plus the funnel created on both sides. 
Now he's going to use the very popular Golem Bowler Hero Push. And typically you save most of your spells for this as well. A Jump of Rage and I think two he or a Jump, two Rages and one Heal. Um, he'll pop that King's ability in just a moment. Got to be careful to pop the King soon so he doesn't uh, get locked onto by a single Inferno, which is always a shame if you waste your King uh, by getting taken out with a single Inferno. So gets the Town Hall, has a percentage as well. Because he had those balloons up top uh, in minions, got him an extra like six or seven buildings there, which is important. So it's definitely a nice balance. But um, the Golem Bowler Hero Push is not the only way to take out the Town Hall, depending on the base. This one is a little bit of a different example here by Notorious Bick. And basically what he's going to do is a Queen Walk to clear out a path for the Valks. Bases are set up differently, so it's not always funnel on both sides. It almost always is, but there are exceptions to that. This one is more of just clearing stuff out. It's kind of a funnel. It's kind of not. He's basically clearing out um, a Valk dive, and that's another way to get the Town Hall. Um, we don't see dragons anymore, but dragons used to be another thing you would use to dive the Town Hall. Single Infernos kind of got rid of that, um, as well as other things. So the... The, the Town Hall push here is going to be the Valks, and the Queen Walk, we didn't see much of it, but it is a good thing to do at Town Hall 10v11 um, as well, if you can find a good walk to do. Um, the Queen Walk is going to clear out basically the entire side of this base. Now she is going to get stuck on a wall, she's going to light up the Eagle, it complicates things, he drops the jump, um, and she actually continues on her walk. So the funnel's not the best, but it's enough for those Valks to directly target that core compartment, which they need to do to get the Town Hall taken out. In percentage, he has those baby dragons. So in this case, the percentage effort is very much separate from the actual Town Hall dive because the Town Hall is pretty offset. The All these baby dragons unrelated to the push to the Town Hall, whereas in other attacks, sometimes creating the funnel is also getting you the percentage. But you can split it up like this, or you can do it all one in the same way. If the town hall is dead in the middle of the base, oftentimes your push uh, into the base, pretty much all your troops are going to be somehow related to that, although some of them will also be getting percentage. So it's a balance at town hall 10v11. Hopefully those three attacks give you the idea. Those are good strategies to use. But it's about creating the funnel and keeping the balance between percentage and town hall dive. Okay. Who's this guy attacking? Uh, maybe a new member to One Hive Genesis. This one was a fresh hit, actually. A fresh three-star attack, um, surprisingly, near the end of war. was supposed to be more of a scout, but it just kind of worked out. But this illustrates one of the best 10v10 strategies, and it's just going to be a simple, uh, we call it a shattered uh, go-ho go attack. Golem hog, there we go, I almost uh, blanked out. Shattered because it has two golems, um, that's just what we call it, and you have a kill squad with bowlers, the heroes, sometimes they'll do Valks, but bowlers tend to be a better choice uh, because they're just a little bit better complement in the kill squad. It helps that the single inferno is not right there. You don't always want to send your kill squad directly at an inferno. This way, the kill squad gets much more value. The king won't get locked onto right away. The golems won't get locked onto right away. It's just a better situation if you don't come directly at a single Inferno. Uh, the Hogs can take care of them just fine, uh, but the Queen will step up for that second single Inferno and get it taken out with her ability. Now, this one didn't have a ton of Hogs. It was a very Kill Squad heavy attack, only about um, uh, like 20 Hogs or something that actually were sent in. A few Hogs were used to take out uh, defenses along with Bowler Bounces, so not a whole lot of Hogs, but... Um, three heal spells will definitely keep them up. Sometimes you can heal the kill squad, but those three heals are all, all, uh, often very important for your hogs, even if you don't have that many. So the jump rage for the kill squad, the heals for the hogs. I'm a bigger fan of a big kill squad, but depending on the base, you can you know dial it back, use one golem, your heroes, and uh, just come uh, with less and then go heavier on hogs but it helps to get both heroes taken out. The king is a huge nuisance, even more so than Town Hall 9. The level 40 king can take out some hogs. You can also do queen walks as part of that attack, but I think the kill squad based attack is probably more in the meta right now. 
Okay, moving on, this one I think also, believe it or not, was a fresh 10v10 three star. Can't believe we're getting these, especially two people that typically focus on 10v11 attacks. Kind of weird how this one worked out, but the next one is that classic witch bowler that always, um, or at least for a, quite a while now, has been a popular strategy and has continued to work through the Inferno Tower update. It worked with multis, it works with singles. You can do witches on both sides, or you can do a queen walk to replace the witches on one side of the base. Sometimes you want to put healers on those witches, other times not. Um, because he doesn't have healers on those witches, they are going to die, uh, which will hurt the attack a little bit. But the important thing is that the golem, the bowlers, the king, and a few wizards typically, assuming there's, it's not a lava hound CC, it's good to throw some wizards in. If those can take out the entire core of the base, you're looking good. Basically, the goal here, um, it's best against these bases. You can uh, get through with two jump spells. If you can access both Infernos with two jumps, the boulder pathing is predictable. That's a good base to do it on. Um, whereas the last attack, you want to look for kill squad value, such as getting uh, heroes taken out, getting a lot of defenses, and then being able to have good hog pathing on the back end. This one better if you can jump to both Infernos and um, it's more of a predictable bowler pathing through the base, but you want your main force in the base to take out everything that's not on the outside layer. Um, that way your queen or the witches on the outside can reach everything. If your queen is going in with your kill squad, you want to, um, to make sure you get even more taken out, but um, when the queen's doing a queen walk, as long as you get everything in the middle taken out and you just leave a little ring around the outside, the queen can clean it up like you saw there. Uh, so it's definitely a strong attack strategy in the game right now for 10v10. Okay, moving along here, this is another one of their attacks. We saw one of their 11v11s. Um, this is, I'd say, up there with hogs. It depends on the clan um, and the comfort level of the clan with these attacks, but this is a very popular strategy. It's that um, suicide hero Laloon attack. And the idea is you're just going to use your heroes to take out a small section of the base, cut some pathing for your balloons, and then not even take out the queen necessarily. You can use a skeleton spell for the queen and then just go mass Lalo on the base. Uh, because Laloon is, is pretty powerful right now, uh, especially with all the spells you can bring for it. So the king often tanks while the queen enters the first layer and gets some good value. He was hoping for that Inferno, doesn't quite get it, not a huge deal. The single Inferno, not that um, big of a deal to take out, although it does pop the Lava Hounds relatively quickly. But just gets a little bit of value, gets the CC troops, and then from there, he can send in the balloons and work his way around the base here. Yeah, pretty much almost the entire base left up. Just got a very small piece taken out with his heroes, but that's all he needs. Then you use the Hastes to basically push through initially it's kind of like the Town Hall 11 Laloon, and the Rage is in the middle, and also you want the Rages to fall on top of the Queen, because then you also drop your Skeleton spell um, as the Balloons are right around her, and assuming there's no Bomb Tower in the way, they can take her out pretty quickly um, under that Rage spell. And uh, from there, a heal on the back end, and you're pretty much set. Now, it is more complicated than that, so study the attack, see what works. Um, you can watch my previous videos on balloon pathing. I can't explain all of it in two minutes, but the idea is to spite off a very small piece, send in those balloons around the base, use the spells in the proper way. Um, you know, hastes initially, rages in the core, skeleton spell under the rage as well as the balloons, and then a heal for the back end. Usually there are exceptions with how you do that. One thing to note is the quake and the bowler bounce off an elixir collector was enough to take out an air defense, which was very nice, very good value there. Um, a smart thing to do if you have an extra dark spell, and if there's a bowler bounce off a collector, um, it's not enough hit points to take out the entire air defense, but with the earth earthquake spell it is. So that's those are the three main for Town Hall 10. Of course, there's others for pretty much any Town Hall level, but we're focusing on what the meta is, um, so to speak. So we have two Town Hall 9s. Now, I, I, I could have shown a lot more. I'm, I'm not showing as many Town Hall 9s, the reason being, it's not as cut and dry as the previous Town Hall levels are, because there's so much that can work here at 9v9. I just want to show the most popular um, things that I want to make aware that I haven't seen 
um, or haven't shown as much on the channel that are popular good meta strategies. So this first one, you guys have probably seen this a lot and I have to show it because it's just, it's always been working pretty much. It is a kill squad based hog attack, two golems, heroes behind, bowler CC. Um, if you have lower level heroes, if you don't have bowlers, you know, watch my videos on, I've made quite a few recently on how to take out like common bases with lower level heroes, stuff like that. We'll talk about what, what to do if you don't have bowlers in the CC. Um, but this is focusing more on the CWL type meta attacks. And assuming you have relatively high level heroes, CC bowlers, you can crush a lot of bases just sending in that kill squad, funneling it in. As long as you funnel everything in, take out the CC troops, take out the um, defensive queen, send those hogs with two heal spells. There's a lot of variants. You can bring one golem, you can bring three golems, you can bring different spells slightly, but the idea is pretty much the same and it's been working very well. For this last attack here, I want to show one that is a pretty skilled attack. You definitely have to learn how to do it, but because it is seen quite a bit actually, I do have to show it as one of the meta attacks because it's working definitely in CWL type wars and it's something if you guys want to get to that next level, something you might want to learn. Um, a three star is a three star, that being said. If, if there's a more easy attack that is more successful for you, by all means do that attack. This one though um, can crush some bases that are set up to defend against hogs and otherwise, um, or, or just more not set up to defend against this one because it's not the first thing you try to defend when you're building a Town Hall 9 base. But it is the Queen Charge La Loon. Make sure to bring quite a few minions because it is a time uh, consuming Queen Walk at the beginning, or Queen Charge rather. That's more accurate because she typically goes into the base, use the King to funnel her just like you would at a Town Hall 10 kind of suicide La Loon attack. The difference being you, uh, your Queen has healers on her and she's hopefully going to stay up the entire attack so she can help with cleanup as well. But um, this strategy actually works at Town Hall 10 as well. In addition to the Sui Lalo, um, that's the suicide hero La Loon attack. You can also um, do a queen charge, although with the single infernos, it's, it's not as much of an option at Town Hall 10 as it is Town Hall 9. So you send in the queen, get the defensive queen, get all this good value, air defenses, expos, archer towers, wizard towers, teslas, everything you wanna get taken out um, with your ground, portion of your attack. The Queen Charge often can do it. The Raged Wall Breakers are very important. You don't want to have to use jump spells on your Queen. So if you can get uh, good with those Wall Breakers, once again, you can check out my video on Wall Breaker Pathing for more information. But uh, if you can get good with that, you can often get your Queen in some good spots to take stuff out. Now you do want to have a level 30 Queen or close to level 30 for this attack. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Of course, you still have, you know, the witch slap, as people call it, works too. You have other variations of the hogs, like the Monty G, which I made an entire video on. All that good stuff still works. Um, but I just wanted to show this one because it is a good option to use at Town Hall 9. Um, but this is the video, guys. Let me know which strategies I may have left out that you think are popular and should have been in this video. That definitely will give people an idea of some possible other strategies to use, but these are the main ones. Hope the video helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, bonus points if you watch the entire thing, even if you're not, um, even if you don't have an account for each of these town hall levels. So um, I'll continue to put some content out um, for, to help you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bisectatron out.